Thank you very much. You're very kind, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to say right about here, you know, Dean has a beautiful production number at the beginning of every show with girls and everything. So I went to the network. I said, why can't I do a number two? So they said, okay, you'll do it. But they didn't give me girls. They gave me fellas I should use. <laughs> so I got to do the number. Come on out, fellas. You know, it feels funny. Dean uses girls, pretty girls to work with. It's nice. So I got fellas. So just to make me feel better, you'll be Selma, Audrey, Miriam, and Phyllis. All right? They'll be guiles, meanwhile. <laughs> this is a number that I had the good fortune recording for Capitol Records, and it's my conception of a tune called Never Been Kissed, and I'm going to sing it for you now. <laughs> Oh, I know a gal who's a treat to the eye The boys always whistle when she passes by She's out every night, not a night has she missed And her mother says that she's never been kissed What? Yeah! Never been kissed, never been kissed it's hard to believe that she's never been kissed. One night she went out for a row on the lake. The guy she was with dropped the oars by mistake. They drifted for hours before they were missed. But she still insists that she's never been kissed. What? She's a liar. Never been kissed. Never been kissed. It's hard to believe that she's never been kissed. Oh, well, the young man took a liking to her. He gave her some presents of jewelry and fur, including a diamond as big as your fist. Yet she'll take an oath that she's never been kissed. What? <laughs> never been kissed. Never been kissed. It's hard to believe that she's never been kissed. Now there's a new book they're all talking about. All lessons in love, you have read it, no doubt. I hear that it just made the bestseller list. Well, it's written by her, and she's never been kissed. That's a lot of hooey, hooey, the hooey, the hooey, the hooey. Never been, ne hooey, never been kissed. Never been kissed. It's hard to believe that she's never been kissed. She married the best catch in town, by the way, and said to the girl that she threw her bouquet. Just keep the boys guessing and always insist that you are a girl who has never been kissed. <laughs> never been kissed. Never been kissed. It's hard to believe that she's never been kissed. The end of this story is sad, and here's why. I saw her today with a tear in her eye. I asked her the reason why she was so blue, and the answer she gave me, I'll pass on to you. What? Listen. Never been kissed. Never been kissed. She married a man who has never been kissed. Dean Martin singing, I wonder who's kissing it out. I wonder who's kissing her now. Well, I wonder who's looking into her eyes, breathing sighs. Ain't telling lies, but I wonder who's buying the wine For the lips that I used to call mine And I wonder if she ever tells him of me But I wonder who's kissing her now I wonder who's buying all the wine that I used to call mine Well, I wonder if she ever tells him of me I wonder who's 
kissing her and We're so very happy that you will appear at the Italian Welfare Night of Stars at the Chicago Stadium, May the 12th. Thank you, Frank Annunzio and Johnny Kentucky. Oh, well, yeah. we're, we're happy gonna to be say here. We're going to be here in Chicago for this wonderful affair, hey, well. and we'd like you to know about it. That's enough! Enough! Don't try and make up! Let's show them, let's show them that we can also play instruments. We're going to play the number for you. What is it? What are you doing here? What do you want? Two minutes? See what he's giving us here? Get out of here. Get out, get out. Get out, we don't mind having you tell us how much time there is, but don't get in the act, buddy. <laughs> All right, for you, the beautiful and thrilling Seder dance. Yeah. <laughs> Mine, see if there's any coal there. <laughs> <laughs> C'è la luna e mezza mare, mamma mia, che mare. E vi giovine, vi giovine, sembra che other numbers for you, but unfortunately we're running late, so with the playing of the theme on behalf of Dean and myself, we'd like to remind you that next week, Mr. Phil Silvers will appear on the Colgate Comedy Hour. Dean and I will be his guests. We're going to have a lot of fun. We'd like you to tune in. So we'd like to thank the entire show, Kingman Moore in the booth, Ernest Glucksman, our producer, Ed Simmons and Norman Lear, our writers. Of course, I want to thank my partner, because without him, what's the sense? <laughs> and I want to thank you also. Don't forget next week with Mr. Phil Silvers, a great comedian. We'll be with him. Thank you so much. You've been wonderful. Good night and God bless. Good night for the Colgate Comedy Hour.